The next sorting algorithm under brute force method is called selection sort algorithm. It is an in-place comparison sorting algorithm. It selects the smallest element and places it at the beginning of the unsorted list. The pseudo code looks something like this. For i is equal to 0 to n minus 2, i min is i. For j is equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1, if a of j is less than a of i min, then i min takes the value of j. Then swapping happens between a of i and a of i min. Temp is equal to a of i, a of i is equal to a of i min, a of i min is equal to temp. Now let's look at the example. This is an array with values 5, 3, 2, 4, 1 and index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. At the beginning of the loop, i min value is 0, that is the first element 5. It compares 5 with the next element that is 3. If 3 is less than 5, 3 becomes the minimum value. Now the new minimum value is 3 and its position is 1. So i min, i min means the position of minimum value. First it was 0. So now the new minimum value is 3. So i min becomes 1. Now it compares 3 with the next element to see if that is lesser. 3 and 2. So now 2 is less than 3. So 2 becomes the new minimum value. And position of 2 which is 2 is the new i min value. Next it compares 2 with 4. See if 4 is less, it's not true. So i min value remains the same and 2 is compared with the next element that is 1. Here it is true that 1 is less than 2. So the new minimum value is 1 and position of that 1 is 4. 4 becomes the i min value. Now we have reached the end of the list. Now the minimum value is found to be 1. At the end of the iteration, the minimum value is swapped with the element with which we started, that is 5. So 1 and 5 are swapped. So 1 goes here and 5 goes here. At the end of first iteration, this is the order. Now we have two set. One is the sorted set and this part is unsorted. In the next iteration, we start with the element 3 and we see the minimum value and when we find the minimum value, we swap that minimum value in this position. So keep in mind, 3 is the starting element. We compare 3 with 2. 2 is less than 3. So 2 becomes the new minimum value and 2 is compared with 4. 4 is not less. Go to the next element. 5 is not less than 2. So we have reached the end of the list and by the end of the list we have 2 as the minimum element. So we are swapping element 2 with the starting element of that iteration that is 3. So we swap 2 and 3 like this. The iteration still continues and it compares 3 with 4, 5, still 3 is the minimum value. So 3 is kept in its own position. Then 4 and 5, 4 is only the minimum value. So 4 is kept in its own position. So at the end, the elements are sorted like this. The time complexity is O of n square, which is inefficient for larger lists. For better understanding, I'll add a visualization with a larger list.